guys, hope you're doing well. Today I want to go over the stopping the strings method. And this might help you get a little more advanced with your strumming. We're going to do the song Jesus Messiah. I'll first play it and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Hopefully it can help you with your um, different strumming problems. And give you an alternate way of playing instead of just straight up strumming all the time. Jesus Messiah So the chords, you want to make sure you really know exactly what chords to play here and then you can work on the strumming thing. A lot of times what I find myself doing, if I try to work on two things at the same time, I kind of get both of them halfway instead of one I'm really good. So first of all, make sure you know the chords. It's G, C, G, D. Then repeat it. G, C, G, D. With G. So once you really just work on getting the chords, first just do a down strum to make sure you've got the chord change. So Jesus Messiah. So just play just down strums to first say, okay, I know when to change the chords. Once you get that down and you're really comfortable with knowing when the chord change is, we're going to work on stopping the strings. So I'm still holding the pick the usual way, but at, in between the chords, I'm just using the outside of my hand here and stopping the string and play a down strum again. So... So you can see what this does, it allows you to get to that next chord change um, a little bit faster and keeps you on that rhythm of that, that four beat rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And because a lot of times people have trouble doing that chord change because they're kind of in between chords when it's time to switch. So it kind of throws them off. So, Jesus Messiah. So I hope this helps you. Again, don't get frustrated. It takes a little bit of time. As you get more and more advanced, you'll get this down. But that stop, the ability to mute the strings, really can help you know when to do that chord change and helps you get on to that next chord when you need to. And never forget, when you're strumming, you want to keep that in the back of your mind, that constant, steady beat while you're going back and forth between the chords. 